All right, Jeff, thanks so much. It is 502, and 17 News is your local election headquarters. And we begin with new numbers this morning in the special election to replace former Bakersfield Congressman Kevin McCarthy in the House. In the count so far, one candidate is taking a commanding lead, but it may not be enough to avoid a runoff election. 17th Jenny Hyde joins us in studio this morning to break it all down. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning, Alex. This is the race to finish the rest of McCarthy's term in the 20th Congressional District. To win outright, a candidate needs 50% plus one of the votes, but the numbers aren't looking that way right now. Let's take a look at the votes counted so far district-wide. You can see Republican Assembly Member Vince Fong has a strong lead with about 41% of the votes, but still below the mark to win outright. The Associated Press has projected Fong will move on to the runoff election in May. It appears he'll go head to head with either Republican Sheriff Mike Boudreaux coming in second with about 26% of the votes or Democrat Marisa Wood in third place with about 23% of the votes. No other candidate district wide has received more than 5% of the votes so far. Now let's take a look at Kern County results. Vince Fong also leads here in Kern County with about 54% of the votes. It's his district. He's been an assembly member since 2016. He has that community support, which translates to votes. McCarthy is endorsing him. Donald Trump is endorsing him. He is the chosen McCarthy successor here in Kern. And since Kern County has the largest number of Republican voters in the district, these votes likely helped him significantly district wide as well. The Democrat Marisa Wood is coming in second place with about 22% of the votes. Republican Mike Boudreaux in third place, 16% of the votes. Take a listen to the leading candidates. For, for our campaign with 11 people running in the first campaign and then nine people running in this campaign, uh, you know, we just wanted to be the top vote getter and, and we were able to, to successfully achieve that. And so we're gonna take that momentum. Well, we hope, we, we hope that we can hold on to that second place position, but you know, Marissa's a strong candidate who's coming in with some big numbers and we'll see at the end of the day how that plays out. I think this has been an energetic, um, a positive ride that I've been on. It's been extraordinarily worthwhile. And while voter turnout was expected to be low since it's a special election, one elections department employee told me Tuesday it's been unusually low. Current elections also said as of about 10 p.m. Tuesday night, they had received about 53 ballots total for the special election. Results will be updated in the coming days, but it's looking likely we'll have a deja vu come May. The top two vote getters of this election will advance to a May runoff election. Then a final winner will be decided. And don't forget about the March primary that happened just two weeks ago. The top two vote getters in that election will face off in the November general election. Jenny Hub, 17 News. Jenny, thank you. Your time now is 5.04.